Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a frog, so let's get started. To draw this cute frog, let's first start by drawing a big curve. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to start with a big curve. Kind of like you're drawing a circle, but we're going to stop about right here. And you're just thicken it up a little bit. There. From there, I'm going to come right across, about right here, and draw another curve coming all the way across. So I'm just going to end about the same area, right there. Nice soft curve across, and then I'm going to draw another big one just like this right here. Big curve going around. I'm just going to drag a point across, so say approximately about right here because I'm drawing pretty big. It just helps me to figure out where I'm going. So I'm just going to drag a point across about right here. So just imagine it coming about right here. So now I have a guide to know where I'm going. It makes it a bit easier. There. Okay. Now that we have these two big curves in, let's bring this down just a little bit in here as well. Now that we have that, let's come back in here and bring this to life, right? So right into this circle, we're going to come in here and draw a circle, a completed circle this time. And then same thing on this side. So in this space, right here. And then let's make them draw secure so eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom, and same thing over here. There. And then let's come in between the eyes and we're going to draw a really sweet smile. So we're about right here. Uh, so about right here. I'm just going to lightly draw a curve that comes across and cap it off. Oh, <laughs> so cute, right? I hope you think so. And then let's come to the top right here above the uh, uh, mouth and we're just going to put in two little ovals, two little dots for the nostrils for our frog. And then now we can finally draw the body. So let's bring this down. So this is a cartoon simplified version of a frog. <laughs> kind of like a squishmallow shape almost, right? So let's bring this down. And we're going to start to bring it in. So just pretend you're drawing a squishmallow. And we're just going to bring this in. And in. And let's see here. Let's keep going about right here. I'm going to stop. So I'm just make nice and even as if I'm going to connect. If you're using a pencil, definitely connect it. But I'm going to stop about right there now that I'm kind of even. And I'm going to pop out the uh, front. Um, the hands right here. So let's come right here, come out, and we're just going to wiggle three of these curves. So they're nice and round. So same thing on this side. Round, two, and three. Right there. So now that we have that in, let's bring this up and bring this up. 
and then whatever space I have in between, I'm just imagining this curve is still coming through. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. So like I said, if you're using a pencil, definitely finish this curve and then pop out the hands. Then from there, let's go and I'm going to draw this big round curve. And let's see here. But right here is my center. Now I can come down. Now to add in the legs. So let's come about right here towards the bottom and I'm going to draw a curve and bring it in and tuck it in right into this space right here. And then in this area right here, I'm just going to pop out indication of the back feet. So just maybe two little curves right there just to simplify it. And so I'm just going to drag a point across about right here and do the same thing. And tuck it right in here. And then once again, just two curves, a little indication of the back feet. So that's pretty much it for the frog. Pretty simple, right? Hopefully. Um, if you want, you can give it some marking. So uh, I'm just going to show you. I can put some dots here, there lightly. You can do this when you're coloring so you don't have such a harsh black line. Uh, so same thing over here. And I'm going to add maybe a heart one right here, right? To make it my jaw so cute frog. <laughs> and um, other than that, if you, oh, maybe some here too. One here and one here. Other than that, we can, um, if you want, you can put your uh, frog on a lily pad. And if you like to do that, let's go about right here. And I'm just going to drag a point across right here. And I'm going to start an oval. To draw my lily pad. So let's bring this in. And about right there, I'm going to a little notch in there. Continue this curve all the way back to there. There. My wobbly lily pad. <laughs> there. Okay. And um, if you like, you can also add a little bug. I thought that'd be really cute. So I'm going to come about right here. Just draw a circle for a very simplified little bug. The body right here and some wings. Need two of them. And same thing over here. And come in here with some curves maybe. Two little eyes. <laughs> uh, no antennas. I'll just leave it as that. And um, I really hope you love, well, you know what? That's an antenna. I think bugs need it, right? There. Okay, now we're done. So I really hope you love how this cute little frog here turned out. And then I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.